we've done a number of apprenticeships with Tower Hamlets. They've done props for us, they've done actually wigs, hair and makeup and scenic metalwork and now they're doing the scenic paint frame one for us. We always do our own recruitment of apprentices because we know what we're looking for. What Tower Hamlets do for us is they try to incorporate some extra spice into the recruitment process. So they ran employability training for us for all of our candidates and their first skills test is down at Tower Hamlets. They started off with a five minute drawing exercise. Then we went into now a one hour observational drawing with the traditional material paper and also 2B pencils. I'm checking to see how they can compose, plus also we're looking at their scale and also how they can draw three-dimensionally onto a two-dimensional surface. It's to find a potential apprentice that has good drawing skills so that they are going to be able to undertake the job quite confidently from day one within their, their place of business. This afternoon we're going to look at colour mixing, so they're going to be given hot and cold primaries to then produce some small studies. So I'm looking to see that they can mark make with a, with a brush and with the right colours to try and mix up the most, uh, most realistic colour. And it's about how they paint, because when they go into the industry, they're going to have to be doing a lot of painting backdrops from scratch. And they will be expected to have that knowledge behind them. The reason I love working with Tower Hamlets is that they try really hard to understand what it is that we need as employers and to be as flexible as they possibly can on what they deliver. I work with a large range of learning providers because we have a lot of apprentices in very, very different areas. And not all of them are as willing to be helpful to set up this kind of day and do this kind of day which just gives us a, a broader sense of what the young people or what the interviewees are bringing to the table. We get Denise's input, we're going to sit down with her and talk about the day she's had and what the young people have been like. It makes it a better process for us, we're more certain of picking the correct candidate as it were or a potentially successful candidate. What we really liked about Sophie was that she was in some ways at the very beginning of a journey. Some of the others had done like an art foundation course and were potentially a bit further on. What she showed that was therefore was her natural talent was very high. We also really liked her attitude, her get up and go. She's very funny, very quiet, but there's an awful lot going on in there. And I think over that length of recruitment process, we do get to see a little bit of what's inside. I think if you met Sophie on day one, she wouldn't be your candidate. But after you've gone through all of that process, you know there's something there you, you want to use. It's good. I've been doing the tiny detail up there. It hasn't really sunk in yet that this is my job because like, I enjoy it so much. It doesn't feel like coming to work, so it's fun. Even though I'm eight months into the apprenticeship, my family and friends still tell me every day that they're proud of me and stuff. So it's, it's nice. Mm -hmm.